Hello, this is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance for the Xbox 360. This is also on the PlayStation 3. This is the sequel to Metal Gear Solid 4, The Guns of the Patriots, which was on the PlayStation 3. Uh, we're going to do this on normal difficulty. We're not going to do the tutorial for the sake of playing through this demo. Or trying to get as far as we can. <laughs> Originally, I, I thought it was meant to be a prequel to the previous Metal Gear Solid game, but apparently, as the text says on screen, it's not. <laughs> Nonetheless, anyway, as you know, if you get the full deal itself, you'll know what's going on with all of this, and so we're not gonna watch with the cutscenes just to not spoil everything. This is meant to be about the gameplay, trialing that. So, as you can see, visually, pretty spectacular lens flare, looking awesome. You can destroy quite a lot of uh, the objects. Palm trees going down, yeah! So is this pillar. Are we gonna do it to the stairs? Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> You can do, which I have done off a video before, but it ends up becoming a bit harder to get up there, so just for this, uh, you know, time. No. <laughs> the bastards are using stealth cable to ambush you. Nice try, but it won't do any good against a state of the art cyborg like you, eh? You're fighting like all these mercenaries, and uh, as you will see soon enough, Metal Gear Machines. I don't know the official name of them because I didn't quite play through Metal Gear Solid 4 enough to actually know what they're called. Ryder, whenever you engage in battle, I will designate a battle area for you. See, you can hack and slash away pretty swiftly, looking awesome. Orange and teal, very common of Hollywood these days for some reason. Yeah, it took him out. And you get your uh, score that will appear on screen. That's how you did. Not bad, right? You can obviously do better than C, but this is only a playthrough, this is not a walkthrough of the demo, so... And your commander, Boris. Looks clear. No one in sight. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the old town, then head down to the rear of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. He's telling you what's what and you know you're gonna get ambushed basically at some point. Do not let your guard down. What else is gonna happen, let's be honest. So doosh doosh doosh. Yeah. Look at the physics. It's still there as well. It's cut up even more. Haha. <laughs> we won't be doing this for that much longer, nope. Okay, let's go up, up, up. And we're going to sneak attack upon a guard that's ahead of us. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them, or approach from behind. So, for this, we're going to uh, press the B button, and we're going to make a graphic kill. Hoo hoo hoo. That is gruesome as F. We'll sense on the swearing for this case. It reminds me of a place in Malaysia called Penang. Which I went to not too many months ago. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. So infrared vision. You can see what's ahead, where the enemies are placed. You can avoid being raped. Let's go around. What are you doing here? This area is off limits. What? No. Oh, ah. Christ. All the blood splatters. Japanese blood splatter. Uh oh, we've been spotted. Now in alert mode. Back up or whoever's around is gonna, you know, pretty much <laughs> Oops. come by. I think we've uh, lost the hostage there, so we did bad. Oh, the way he flies. Again, this is only just playing through, this isn't like, you know, a guide to what you're supposed to do in this demo, or the actual game itself. Oh, can we take him out? Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> the way they fly. So obviously the physics are semi of the real world, but, you know, it comes to bodies and all that, just... Jeez. If we could only do that for real, you know, this is Hollywood dramatised. Oh, there's one of the Metal Gears. Pretty intimidating, so hopefully we'll, uh, you know, 
take him out best as. Can't guarantee. Slush, 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 slush. Going down. Go on, get that. Go down already. Jeez. God, you could break a sweat playing this. Seriously. You are button mashing, which is not really great to do in reality. There's a lot of fighting games out there where you do that, which, again, is trial and error. And this game is, if you don't rely on the map, trial and error. You're knowing where to go or um, when you're going to get assaulted. Can we take him down? Oh, the tree's falling down to it. <laughs> There's a tree done it in. <laughs> Did the tree actually do it? Oh, well, that's crazy. I'm guessing if you use the environment around you, you might be able to take out your enemies like that. Don't quote in this case, but anyway. There you go, see again. Good, we we made it through that somehow, just about. We've not got a lot of health left, so we might end up dying and having to restart from the checkpoint. Let's pick up this rocket launcher, and we will try and use it. It might not work. Well, actually, I know what to do in this part. You're not supposed to, like, really engage in those enemies, you can just walk past them. Oh no, you could have walked past them if I wasn't so reckless, so we're going to end up being assaulted and we're probably going to be uh, not very long now dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if you're too reckless you're going to end up out like a pizza. So we'll try that part again. i had done it before and I didn't have to like uh, take on those uh, Metal Gears and those soldiers so if we watch the radar, the radar is your key towards avoiding all the enemies basically or enemies you can avoid because you can't actually in every part, you know, bypass them so tough deal innit ok let's go here press the button we're entering in, haha <laughs> at least we didn't have to fight that little horde So as you can see, if we just do this for a moment, you can focus attack upon the, your enemies, or whatever you're going to chop down. It's pretty cool. Go running, running, running. Again, we're going to skip the cutscene for the sake of not spoiling things. Now we're going to end up fighting a panther type creature. Oh jeez. He's got a chainsaw as well. basically all out, just hack and slash. That's all you can do. His uh, battle his percentage health wise is down in the right bottom corner. So again, when it comes to like scenarios like situations like this, you're just beating the shit the best you can out of whatever comes in your way. You can use grenades and as you pick up rocket launch as well. I'm not sure if there's gun based weapons. You have to find that out in the main game itself. But yeah, look at the orange and teal fly. That's what makes it epic. Oh, whoa, flying kicks in the air. Holy shit. We really like just going out. So you can get an idea of how you can combat. Which is pretty awesome. <laughs> How many kicks is it going to take? Seriously. It is definitely a tough beast of battle and I have tried this before. Now it's calling back on reinforcements. Other bastards, as uh, quoted at the beginning. I'm not sure what part of the game this is. It might be the beginning, this might not be. Because not all demos in video games actually start at the beginning. Not especially these days, so... I don't know. But we'll find, you'll find out when it comes out in February, I believe. Look at the orange and teal fly! Ooh, the electricity! All that blood or oil, whatever you want to call it, splatting everywhere. It's pretty spectacular to look at. Whoa, 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 whoa. I wish we. Can, is that possible to do for real? You'd have to ask like Japanese martial artists and that. Okay, we can try and take him out. I can't guarantee it's going to happen, <laughs> as you saw, like, oh dear. That's as much as I'm going to show you of the demo. So this is coming out in February 20, well, this year, in fact, I should say. 
February 2013, yeah, is this year. So pretty soon, this is what it's like. But from what you've seen, you are basically literally hacking and slashing everything to hell. And if that's your kind of thing, then this will be okay, I guess. Yeah. So this is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance for the Xbox 360. I hope you had fun seeing me get noobed, and uh, take cares.